in this notebook, we will take a look at how we can evaluate the classifier performance. What we will do? As usual, begin with the environment preparation. Then, we will see what metrics are already available, how to use existing ones, and even create your own. Later, there will be a code demonstrating native interface features like early stopping and cross-validation. Here, in code cell number one, we are loading two libraries, one function, and setting seed number for reproducibility. Later, we are reading mushroom training and testing data from external files. And finally, declaring objects that might be useful during model creation, dictionary of parameters and watch list. There will be only five stamps for binary classification problem with average learning rate. Let's see what metrics are already available in XGBoost package. Here is a list of all evaluation metrics. As you can see, we can use root mean square error, mean absolute error, negative log likelihood, binary classification error rate, multi-class classification error rate, area under curve, normalized discounted cumulative gain, and mean average precision. By default, an error metric is used. You can see it by training a model and looking into the output. To change it, add a corresponding key eval matrix in parameter dictionary and retrain the classifier. In this example, we switched it to logarithmic loss. It is also possible to use many evaluation metrics, just pass an array of them, like in this example. If you need more sophisticated methods, you can also define custom metric. To create it, you just need to define a function taking two arguments, predicted probabilities and the matrix object holding training data. Inside it, there can be any logic as you want. In this example, we are just counting the number of misclassified examples. You can now pass the custom function to train method as fEval argument. Remember that you should also set the maximize argument correspondingly. In this case, the algorithm is getting better when the number of misclassified examples is getting lower, so we are not maximizing it. Let's see how we can obtain the results. Sometimes it might be useful to plot a more detailed or customized learning chart. We can extract evaluation results by declaring an empty dictionary and passing it as evil's result argument. After training, it gets populated and can be reused as wanted. Another popular trick is called early stopping. The main idea is that there is no point in training many trees if their score is not improving over some iterations. To see it in practice, use large number of estimators, in this case 1500, and tell the training method to stop if the training score does not improve over 10 iterations. In the output, you can see that from the 13th tree, score is only worse. The algorithm stopped 10 rounds later. It is also possible to access three fields in Booster Object. Best training score, best iteration, and best number of tree limit. Keep in mind that the train method will return the model from the last iteration not the best one. Finally, let's see how we can take advantage of the built-in cross-validation feature. To use it, we just need to call cv method instead of train and fix some parameters. First of all, we can only pass single D matrix. So if you have many files, it would be nice to merge them before running the code. We'll set the number of faults to 10, it is also useful to know that the metrics are passed as an argument. We can still use our custom evaluation metrics or even early stopping feature. And as the result, we are getting a pandas data frame object holding detailed train and test information for each iteration. Summarizing, validation of the classifier performance is the crucial step in machine learning pipeline. This notebook presented you some possible tools you can instantly use in native XGBoost package.